Are you tired of monotonous and repetitive tasks that consumes your valuable time? Ever dreamed of having a digital assistant to handle all those web-based chores? If so, you are in the right place. Hello, I'm Marcelo, and in today's tutorial, we will learn how to automate common web-based actions with Power Automate Desktop. So we'll get started by learning how to open the browser and do the login on the web page, and then how to navigate on the browser to another page from where we will do web scraping. So we'll extract data from this page and then export it to an Excel file so we can see the extracted data. So that's basically it. So let's get started right away. So let's get started by opening Power Automate. So if you have Windows 11 on your PC, it comes already installed by default. And here you can see it. If you have Windows version below the 11, you can install Power Automate easily if you don't have it already installed from the Microsoft Store. So there, if you search for Power Automate, uh, here we can see Power Automate. And if you don't have it installed, it will appear here, install button from where we can install it easily on our computer. So now let's open Power Automate. And now let's create a new flow and I will call it Web Automation and let's click on create. Flow created, so now the first step will be to open the browser on this login page. So then we will learn how to automate here the login. So to open the browser, we have to use the action launch new. And here we can see different actions that works with different browsers. So on this tutorial, we'll use Microsoft Edge so let's drag this action to our flow. And first we have to set the launch mode if we want to launch a new instance or attach to already running instance. So let's launch a new instance. Now initial URL, let's uh, copy and paste here the URL and you can find it on the description of this tutorial. And now Windows state, let's force to be maximized. And that's pretty much it, so let's save. And now uh, let's close the browser and run the flow. And here you can see that was open the browser on this login page. So now the next steps will be to fill the credentials here and click on the login button. We can find the credentials here on this text. However, first we have to make sure that we have the PowerMate extension installed and enabled on the browser. So here we can see that I got an error because I don't have the extension installed on the browser. I have just uninstalled it. So to show how to install and enable if you don't have it yet. So to install the extension, we can easily do it from here on tools. And now here on browser extensions, let's select the browser that we want to use for web automation. So Microsoft Edge. And so here we can see the page from where we can install the extension. Let's click on get and now click on add extension. So the extension was added. So here we can see it. So now let's just close the browser and run one more time our flow. And now here we can see that we didn't get any error because we have the extension installed and now PowerMate will be able to interact with the browser. So now let's fill the credentials here on these fields. So to fill an input field on the web, we'll use the action populate text field. So we can now search here for populate text field and let's use the one from web form filling. So let's drag it to our flow. And so this one will be for the username so first we have to indicate the field. So let's click here to add a new UI element. And now uh, to indicate the element, we have to first over the helmets and now click on control and left click as it says here. And so we have indicated the element. So now we have to indicate the text uh, that should be filled on the input field. So in this case, it's username. So the username, it's this one. So let's copy and paste here, just to keep it simple and click on save. Now let's just do a test. So 
close the browser and run. And here we can see that was filled the username on the username field. So now let's do the same for the password. So let's drag another populate text field action. And now let's add a new UI element, this time for the password. And now let's get the password from this text. Here we can see it. So let's paste it here and let's save. So then the next step is to click here on this login button and we can do it by using the press button action and let's use the one from web form filling. So let's drag it to our flow. And so we just have to indicate the element to click. So let's add the white helmet and indicate this login button. Let's save and let's see how it's running, so let's run the flow. And here we can see that was done the login successfully. So was open in the browser, fill the credentials, was clicking the login button, and here we can see that the login was successful. So now that we've learned how to open the browser and how to make the login, Let's add a navigation to the page from where we will do web scraping. So the page, it's this one. So to first navigate uh, on the browser from this page to this one, we will use the action. Go to web page. So here, let's search for go to web page. And so basically this action allows to navigate on the browser to another page. So let's drag it. And now here we have to indicate that we want to navigate to our URL. And here we can see that we have other options of navigation. And now let's write here the URL to navigate. So it's this one that you can find on the description of this tutorial. So let's save. And now I'll just close the browser and let's see if it's working well. So first should be open the browser, then the login will be done. And after the login be done will appear the success of login page. And from there, the bot, the flow will navigate to the other page that we have indicated, as we can see here. So it's working fine. So now the next step is to extract the title and price of each list of the book across some pages. So here we can see that the data has a clear structure. So all the books have here a title and a price. Uh, and they have exactly the same look, the same attributes. So to extract this kind of structured data, we have a specific action on Power Out My Desktop that makes this kind of web scraping a breeze. So here on Power Out My Desktop, we will use the action extract data from web page. So here is the action. So let's drag it to our flow. And so uh, now uh, to set up this action, we just have now to open the browser on the page from where we will do the web scraping and automatically should appear this live web helper. So now we have to indicate uh, the data that we want to extract. So let's get started by the title. So let's indicate the title of the first book. So let's over it and now let's do a right click and now let's over extract helmet value. And now here we can see the values that we can extract from this helmet. So we can extract the text where it doesn't appear the whole title. We can extract the title, which has the full title and other attributes. So what we want from here, it's the title attribute. So let's click on it. And now in order part me be able to extract the title from each book listed. Let's indicate the title of the second book, for example, in the same way. So here, let's select title. And now automatically, after indicating the second title, we can see that part my desktop is able to extract the title of each listed book. So on each page, we have 20 books. And here we can see that we have 20 book titles. So it's working well. So now, so now let's do the same for the price. So Let's first indicate the price of the first book. Let's just do a right click. 
And now here, hover extract element value. And what we want from here? We want the text. So let's select text. And now it wasn't even needed to indicate a second price. So here you can see that Parrot made desktop. It's able to extract the price of each listed book. So now that we are extracting the price of fish listed book on this first page. So now currently uh, will be done extraction only for the first page. To do the extraction across multiple pages, we have to indicate the pager elements. So Power Desktop knows the element that should be clicked to navigate to the next page. So here you can see the button next that can act as the pager. So uh, to set this element as the pager, let's do a right click. And here let's choose the option set element as pager. And that's basically it. So now let's click on finish. And now here below we can choose to extract the data from just the first page or the first five pages or all available. So to this, don't be too long. Uh, let's just choose only the first and next web page to process. Let's set to five. And that's basically it. So we can see here the output of this action will be basically a data table with the data extracted. So let's just run our flow from the beginning. So I'll just close the browser and run the flow. So now, Login will be done and then we will navigate to the books to scrape page and now we can see that is being done the navigation uh, for each page. So now we are on the third page, the page number four and now page number five and now the flow should end the execution because we have set the max page to extract to five and so as we can see the flow ended the execution. And now here on the right side, if we have here the variables panel open, we can see here the data from web page variable and we can see here that it has 100 rows and two columns. So this is the output from the web scraping action. So let's just do a double click and here we can see the data that was extracted. So now, uh, if we want, we can easily write, export this data to an Excel file. So for that, we just have to use the launch Excel action. And now here, let's just leave with a blank document, so a new document. And then to write Excel file with this data, let's use the write to Excel action. And now here on value to write will be the data stored on the data from web page variable and write mode. So let's set as on currently active cell. So it'll be on the first cell and let's press on save. And now let's just add a close Excel action to close Excel. And now here on before closing Excel, let's save document has to save the Excel file. And now here on document path, let's define where we want to store the Excel file. So here let's define the file name. And that's basically it. So let's save. And let's run our flow. So I'll just close the browser and click on run. So the flow and the execution. So now if we take a look to the folder where we indicated to save the Excel file, here we can see a new Excel file with the name that we have defined. It. And here we can see the data extracted on the web page. So now to finish, let's add the browser closing. So to close the browser, let's use the close web browser uh, action. And so basically here we just have to pass the browser instance. So it's automatically provided here. So let's save and let's just see if it works well. So let's close the browser and let's run one more time our flow. And now 
after exporting the data to Excel file, the browser should be closed and it was closed as we can see. And that's it for this tutorial. If you want to learn more about Power Automate Desktop, you can find here on the screen a playlist where you can find a lot of tutorials about this tool. And also, if you like this tutorial, please give a thumbs up and now subscribe to the channel and enable the notifications bell so you don't miss any tutorial released here on this channel.